What's up YouTube? This is Anthony and this is Ontario Firewood Resource and I've got a message for new people here and for the people that have been following this channel for the last few months now. So when I started this channel uh, I named it Ontario Firewood Resource because I wanted it to be not just a resource of um, you know sales. I'm not interested in sales because I have enough business locally that I don't need to advertise online and you know sh you can't ship firewood very far so it's not like I'm trying to get business in the states or you know far outside the region that I live in which is the city of Toronto. I wanted this channel to be a source of information for people to learn about firewood and how to use firewood and to make the best of it and to have the most efficiency uh, to know what woods to burn um, to know how to save yourself money and to identify woods and all types of scenarios that go along with being in the firewood industry whether you're a user or you're a seller or a retailer so initially i started off by giving that information and today's video is the first in a while that i'm doing uh, it's regarding uh, birch firewood and uh, what its qualities are in terms of splitting, in terms of heating, uh, in terms of drying, in terms of uh, burning, and the different uses that you can get out of birch. So, here, I mean, you guys probably know what birch is. You're interested in fire, firewood enough that, you know, you can tell right off the bat. It's got that nice white color. It's got the flaky bark that comes off. And a lot of you know that this is a very popular species of wood. It's not the best species of wood. Some people will say that the desire for birch is high because of its smell, because of its look. Birch is in a family of trees that uh, also incorporate gray birch, yellow birch. Um, I believe there's black birch and there's also weeping birch, which looks just like a white birch, but uh, it has long tassels for, um, or almost like vines coming off all the branches and they hang down. These trees have a wide range uh, they're found all over Europe and in Asia, uh, Japan, um, North America and these trees they don't grow very big usually and they don't produce a lot of wood. This tree is in the family poplars also known as aspen or popple and linden aka basswood and they all have the same shape of leaves relatively and the leaf is heart shaped and it's got that little taper and then it comes together with the point at the bottom and then all the edges are serrated. The birch leaves tend to be a little narrow and the birch leaves turn yellow in the fall. Just had to dodge the rain for a bit. I mean, look, looks like we've got a nice sunset in the background here. Anyways, let's get back to it. So I'll show you something about splitting the wood. This wood overall splits easy. And it tends to be nice and clean. But what happens sometimes is when you split from this side, it won't separate between the second piece on the bark edge. So it's always better to try and split on the outside edge of the wood. There's some weight to it. Sometimes you get it, it's really heavy, sometimes not so much. I guess it all depends on the, uh, on the livelihood of the tree at the time. In terms of heat, birch has an average amount of BTUs, or British thermal units per cord. Uh, cords of wood are usually measured in heat by the amount of heat that you get and basically at 20 million BTUs per cord that's how much birch works out to and that's about average. You actually want species that are 23, 24 BTUs and higher and that's considered good hardwood. So while birch is somewhat of a hardwood it's still a softer hardwood. It's not bad for heat but it's not the best. It does burn quick and it's good fire starter as well. Uh, sometimes or when you're starting a fire you don't want to start with all oak say because oak doesn't light very well so you want something that's going to help light it up and speaking of lighting fires um, as some of you know birch bark is excellent kindling it's better than taking the chafe off the machine like i'll show you right here when you're using your log splitter or your axe you get all these pieces of chafe off and i actually bag these up and i sell them as kindling and these are good for lighting but um, uh, they're not hardwood but they're still thin so they do have a good lighting quality obviously softwood is used a lot for um, you know quick lighting of fires but you get nice thin shavings like this and the fire will light quickly but adding to that what I'll do when I start a fire is I'll use some of that kindling and I'll take some of the birch bark and I'll give you a demonstration of how well the birch bark burns okay I'm gonna light this up like I said it did just rain a little bit so this bark is a little bit damp but nonetheless, it's still gonna light right up. So this is good for in a survival situation too. I'm 
all that smoke is all the oils inside the bark or what you call tannins. Fold this up a bit so that we can get it all to burn. Now it's going to go. We'll turn it around so it catches the wind. Look at that. That's exactly what you want when you're starting a fire. Just envelops the whole thing with flame. Remember, like I said, that's a little bit wet. I should just say damp, not wet. Well, I take some of this bark and I bag it up with the kindling as well. And people are really happy about that when I sell them a bag of kindling and they got the birch bark in it. There's some tree spurring going on here. a little bit long. Okay, here we go. This is a little thinner than I wanted, but you're gonna get the idea anyway. These were used by the indigenous to conquer snow blindness. You know, you're walking in the snow and trudging through and, you know, doing whatever tasks you have to do. You would get blinded because of all the sunlight coming off of the snow. So this is what they would use to help try and uh, block some light from coming out into their eyes. As for birch and it's drying time, birch does in most cases dry pretty well. Sometimes the trees can be pretty waterlogged and, you know, it'll take a bit longer if pieces are cut big it will take a while to dry but stuff like this that are cut relatively thin uh, not too thin obviously but these will dry pretty quick they'll get some nice air circulation when you're drying you got to keep it off of the ground this is the worst type of wood in terms of um, moisture absorption and rotting and decay a lot of times you'll see birch trees up north and they're falling on the ground they're in a survival situation you'd want to find dead wood or fallen wood for making a fire and the birch bark is such an efficient way to keep the moisture into the wood that when the tree falls it can't let the moisture escape so the wood actually sits in rocks because of all the moisture inside it's very susceptible to rot and not a good option for when you're looking for a deadfall to go and use for yourself for a fire so when you're storing birch it's best if you keep the wood off of the ground you keep it on a rack that keeps it up off the ground or you have some type of device like some of these IBC totes here, how I keep the wood, you keep the water off, you keep the wood off the ground and keep the moisture away because the moisture is gonna be really detrimental to the seasoning process of your wood. Why birch is also popular is people use the birch branches to make decorations. You know, they'll put them in planters and stuff and put them outside of their doors. They'll even take them and then make little reindeer out of them. They'll just cut a bunch of birch branches and then they'll hammer them together and then they'll make little reindeers and put little ant antlers on them and stuff like that. So they come in nice for Christmas decoration. I hope that helps. So in the future, if you get any birch inside your loads or you get a full load of birch, burn it separately, burn it exclusively and you get that really nice smell. I burn birch with cherry and cherry is almost like uh, burning bubble gum. So you mix the two together and it's got this really nice smell with the oily birch and the tannins um, which is like the oil inside the the wood itself and it mixes really well with the birch so enjoy your fires enjoy your wood pile and thanks for watching like subscribe share comment and all that good stuff see you next time